Uh, last weekend, we, boy, I'm looking at how many weeks we have left in the season, and there really aren't that many, uh, many left, three weekends, in fact. Um, it was nice to, to finish last weekend with a sweep, which is the first time we've done that this season in the Big Ten. Um, as you know, uh, we, we started off with Iowa and uh, swept Iowa in three and then moved on to Nebraska, which was right after the football game. And, and uh, we went into that match, and it was, it was, uh, it was a battle from the get-go. And uh, we went back and forth, back and forth, finally came away with the victory. Uh, we were down 14-11 in the fifth game and showed real resilience to, to hold them off and uh, win 17-15 in the, in the fifth game. So it was a great weekend for us. Um, it, was, it was especially um, uh, enjoyable because of the fact that there were a lot of people that came from the Husker football game to the volleyball game and the place was half filled with red and uh, so it made for a very very competitive match and it felt like one of those high school matches where you have both teams you know both sides cheering and and uh, going back and forth so it was a great match for us it's a signature win that we needed to have uh, to put in a good bid for the NCAA tournament and put ourselves in position for that um, this weekend uh, we'll be hosting Minnesota on Friday night. They're number 10 in the nation. They're right now kind of going back and forth with Penn State, uh, fighting for the Big Ten lead, and uh, Nebraska's right in there as well. So, so we play them on Friday night, and we come back with Wisconsin, who's a very, very talented team on Saturday as well. So we've got our work cut out for us, uh, but we are getting to the final three weeks of the season and, uh, and really need to keep pushing for the NCAA tournament.